Now, WGAL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Matt Moore. Good morning, 618 on the clock, and right now we are starting off once again on a frosty note. Temperature-wise, we're in the teens and the lower 20s in many spots. 16 degrees at our York Thomasville reading. That is one of the colder numbers on the map here. 18 in both Lewistown and in Sealands Grove. Low 20s as you go elsewhere, including around Lebanon, sitting at about 24 degrees at this hour. And as we look live, not much in the way of cloud cover. In fact, if you look very closely, you can kind of see the first light above the horizon so far this morning. We will likely wake up with mainly clear skies for most of the area, but farther north, places like Sealands Grove into Lewistown could have a few clouds to deal with as we go through not only the morning, but even into this afternoon as well as that little bit of an inversion tries to drop from north to south and uh, create somewhat uh, of a more interesting cloud forecast for those northern counties. Otherwise, I think it's mostly sunny and for everybody, it's a brighter day than yesterday. It was just socked into the clouds for the majority of the day. Brisk and cold with highs in the upper 30s here as we head into this afternoon and those winds, like I said, about 5 to 15 miles per hour, adding that brisk chill to the air. The wind chills could at times later this afternoon be in the 20s, so a cold one for us. Then we go into tonight with mainly clear skies and yet cold Cold again, but pretty calm down into the 20s. We'll head back into the day tomorrow near 40 for that high temperature, partly to mostly sunny skies. But in terms of relative to average, we're probably going to stay a couple of degrees shy of that over the coming days. Uh, yesterday was nowhere close to the average. 33 was uh, the observed high at Harrisburg International Airport. 43 is average this time of the year, so we were 10 degrees below normal. 24 for that morning low temperature, a few degrees shy of what is considered average. And precipitation wise, Nothing. That's yet another dry day putting together here a nice stretch of them. The longest stretch of dry days, no measurable precip we've had this year, nine days. That was on August 22nd through the 30th, and so far we've had seven days. And interesting to note, when we broke that nine-day stretch, it was August 31st, which was the day we had all of that really bad flooding across parts of York, Lancaster, and Lebanon County with the flash flooding that we saw then. Now, I don't expect to see that here in the Susquehanna Valley as we break this stretch here later this week, more on the seven-day coming up, but we will have some rain. Not for the next couple of days as this week's system system uh, begins to pull away from the coast. This was the big storm. It main pressure has moved off the coast, but still some upper level energy lingering behind. Here's a look at predictor through the rest of today. And again, some of those clouds lingering in our northern counties, and that's about it with the forecast. It stays very quiet here even into tomorrow and also going into Tuesday. Cold front drops in from the north on Wednesday, but that shouldn't do much in terms of our temperatures. Uh, still expecting around 40 for that high. Increasing clouds, though, and warmer temperatures later in the week, but we'll be replacing those uh, dry conditions with some rainy conditions and uh, going into Friday into Saturday could be a little unsettled for us. So maybe about a 10 day stretch of dry weather before we at least see the chance of precip in our area. I don't think again, flash flooding threat is mm -hmm. not going to be an issue. We're not going to break this stretch here with flash flooding, but something uh, interesting to know. It'll be in the dry stretch so far this year, it looks like. Yeah. yeah. And in the coldest days, we have some sun, so that helps. And too. we do. Like mm -hmm. today, we'll be, I think, at least feeling better with that sunshine. That'll okay. be nice. That's right. All right.